Hey guys, so on to round three of the team winning tournament. Um, now we're in the losers bracket. We are up against by the low chip. I don't know where he's from. <clears throat> and um, another loss, since this is a double elimination tournament, another loss would mean that we are out of the tournament. However, um, it is a best of three. Our starting hand is not great. We are up against Zork. Potentially a good matchup for us. Um, it all depends on what else we can get here. Yeah, obviously not the greatest start. Um, hopefully my opponent ends us here or something. Um, or we are able to top deck. We have a lot of good cards that we can top deck. And there's the end. Perfect. So that, hopefully that'll help us. Like we could essentially get the same hand. Um, something just as bad <laughs> oh boy um so yeah not the best start for either of us yeah not the best start for either of us um at least the threat of muyax is not quite there yet and we do have another basic to survive but we did end up um dead drawing quite a bit here um so yeah It'll be interesting to see. We do get a prize and a top deck for next turn. Um, the strong means we can knock out whatever is in front of us. Um, the Guzma means we can chase something like a Lele, perhaps. And we are going to see an Ultra Ult for my opponent, discarding Floatstone and Guzma. Um, the Floatstone is actually pretty cool because it's definitely a card that would have helped my opponent in order to achieve the Mew EX uh, Retaliate KO. So that's really good. And we are going to see a Lele, we're gonna see a Lele for Bridget, I'd imagine. But if this Urua does not end up evolving, I can potentially Kuzma, another of his Uruas, and therefore get two more prizes, yeah? We are in a very fragile spot here, by the way, but it is what it is. We're playing to what we are getting. Not much else we can do to control that. Yeah, not much else we can do to control that. And... Yeah, because my opponent's figuring out his prize cards here. Trying to figure out what is the best course of action. We're gonna see a floatstone and we're gonna see a Cynthia. We're actually not going to see the Bridget as I expected. Uh, we do see a Latios get benched. Hopefully, no DC plus choice man. That would be a worst case scenario. But if my opponent doesn't end up evolving, we are in a good spot here. We do see the DC and the choice man. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh, jeez. How do they draw these perfect hands? Like my previous opponent who got this strong. Jeez. Um, okay, three cards again. I'm going to have to KO this Latios, right? I'm actually going to have to KO this Latios. I'm going to bench the Remoraid. I'm going to bench the Diancie as well whilst I'm at it. And I'm going to have to Absorption. This is actually very sad that my opponent was able to get both cards. That was actually very unlucky for us. And just look at what we're getting. Jeez. We're drawing the prize cards, but we are honestly still far behind here. We are honestly still very far behind. Oh gosh, please that be single puzzle. Please don't be double puzzle. Is it double puzzle? Please don't be double puzzle. I'm assuming it is double puzzle. My opponent will definitely... Well, no, if it was double puzzle... Oh, it is double puzzle. <laughs> Doesn't even get the TCE. Why wouldn't you get TCE? 
to attach to the Lele to finish off the puzzle. Please whiff energy, please whiff energy. Ugh. Ah, these games, guys, these games. I mean, <laughs> you've seen my previous tournament uh, rounds. It's just been very intense. Um, round one, we got very lucky, in a sense. <laughs> There's the Cartana. Oh, boy. DC. No, no DC. Okay, so my opponent actually... Because he wanted the Latios, he ends up um, missing out on a KO here, which is actually huge. I'm gonna play down the choice man just to thin. And I'm definitely gonna Cynthia here. I mean, I maybe I actually don't mind losing the Kuzmas. I actually don't think I mind losing the Kuzmas. Um, simply because... The game is gonna come down to me getting two more prizes. So yeah, I think I don't want to put these cards back into the deck. I'm going to lose three Guzmas. That is completely okay here. <sighs> big misplay by my opponent not getting that DC back. Big, big misplay by my opponent. We're going to see this. I love this because I can get the Buzzwall. Um, I get the Rockruff. I can take away the Floatstone. Okay, so we're back in business. We're actually back in business. Simply because um, we have full hand, we have our artillery. We might be. Well, I'm pretty sure we're good here. Pretty sure we're good. My opponent also needed to retreat into the Latios. My opponent definitely needed to retreat into the Latios right there. I don't know if this is Zoro Garb or if it's um, something else. But not getting the DC back was a big mistake there. Because he could have killed, he, not killed, sorry. He could have KO'd my poor um, Buzzle with, um, with Lele, right? And then, like, sure, I would have gotten all of this into play, but that would have been it. And he does finally get the, the energy on the Latios, and he finds an end. That's fine, because we have Octillery. So setting up Octillery ends up being super clutch. Our deck is still pretty big here. Um, okay, finds a parallel. Diancy no longer needed at this point. Diancy definitely no longer needed at this point. And Puzzle is going to be 10 away from getting knocked out. Which is going to be very good for us. Very good. Puzzle can't attack next turn. Yeah, Buzzle can definitely not attack next turn. This is where losing the three Guzmas will end up hurting us quite badly. Right? Um, just gonna go ahead and grab this baby buzz. But yeah, like now I'm in a potential B string range. If I get my last Guzma, I win. Because I can retreat the Rockruff. And I do. I actually do hit my last Guzma. Therefore, I'm gonna send that Zorark. Back. Okay, but that was that was a very intense game. Yeah, that was a very intense game because of the awful start <laughs> that we had. Um, it was definitely not the best start for us. And I am going to wait until my opponent challenges me. There we are. I'm going to use CS Boss Rock. That's the deck that we are using for... Um, the tournament for the team winning in tournament and yeah we'll have to see how this goes we'll have to see how this goes um, we win the coin flip I assume my opponent wants to go first therefore I'm gonna let him go first yeah and we get not a great start because of the lele so we won't be able to apply pressure on this um, we top deck or we find one of our floatstones but my opponent starts lately as well so that's okay so yeah my opponent had a rough start as well definitely had a rough start he end me on turn one of, out of our awful hand and we still couldn't recover uh, but thankfully he made that clutch misplay where he didn't get back the dc 
and therefore wasn't able to um, pressure or KO my Puzzle GX. Yeah, getting that extra two prizes with Puzzle GX was actually incredibly good. Um, we're gonna see a Floatstone retreat into Latios immediately. We're gonna top deck another Sycamore here. Um, yeah, let's do that. And then two baby puzzles are prized, which could be problematic. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the 70 HP Rockruff, and I'm gonna attach to it. Um, with hopes that I'm gonna just put the energy back. I'm hoping that um, I'll be able to find like like and rock energy Guzman next turn to KO either his Lele or a Zora of his. Um, we do find energy, we do find the Guzma, we do find a field lore, but not quite the, um, the a way to find Lycan Rock, and that's the big issue here. You know, that is definitely the big issue. That and not finding um, any Buzzle card either. Not finding any Buzzle card either is just not ideal. Uh, we see a Raw Cynthia immediately. We're gonna see the first Zork there. So yeah, this matchup, I mean, this, not this matchup, this match in particular not looking the best. We do have another try at getting the Lycanroc. We're gonna see the double Divas hold on. A top deck Lycanroc would be incredible or a top deck Ultra Ball. Yeah, that would be the dream. If that doesn't happen, then uh, hitting the Elixir attaching energy and then off of the end, Getting that Lycan Rock would be the other dream. Or even top decking um, a Brooklet heal would be nice. So I would be able to start pressuring the Zorks. Um, Aerograph should be safe for now, because my opponent can't Kuzma KO it. Which is good. Definitely two rough starts. And we'll have to see how this goes. Let's see another trade. We see a DC right there, so my opponent will start pressuring me. And no cigar here. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We will hit, which is nice. The issue is we're giving my opponent... I think I'm gonna attach here, actually. I really, really, really need the Lycan Rock to GXKO Zorg. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, so my Rockruff is definitely a goner now. So I go for the other Rockruff then? And I hit the Elixir, okay. So the split is actually pretty nice. I could retreat on corner. Uh, no, that would be bad. Okay, so hopefully off of the Sycamore we can manage that play. The issue is I don't want to do it with basic energy. I need to do it with... Um, I mean, I, I don't want to do it with special energy. I want to do it with basic energy. That's what I want. Yeah, that is definitely what I want here. See, a trade of the trash lunch. It is indeed Zorak or Butter, yet we hadn't seen a Garp yet until this point. One, two, three, four, five. But yeah, off of triple trade, I don't think there's any... Pos and a bench space open. I don't think there's any way for my opponent to whiff Lele Kuzma or Kuzma DC for a KO on a rock rough, right? Therefore, we need to respond. Yeah, therefore, we need to respond. I hope he goes after this rock rough. No, I don't think he would. My opponent whiffs here, though. We would be in a good situation. As long as we can find the Lycan Rock. If I had found the Lycan Rock the previous turn, boom. That, that would have been close to game over, honestly. That would have been close to game over. Especially if I could have used Claw Slash to get one, not Dangerous Rogue. But oh well. Um, wow, last trade, the DCE. That means he has more than one DCE right there. And there's the Lele for the Guzma. Okay, trading away the DCE is super interesting but also super weird honestly um there's a guzma he obviously picks off the two energy rocker right 
it's also i mean maybe he'll think oh no that's previously damaged yeah that makes sense that makes sense so now our hope is that my opponent doesn't have wait what okay interesting interesting decision lagoon flights okay that's fair um definitely wasn't expecting that but i'll take it um okay so what i'm going to do is can i get a baby puzzle here do i have two lycan rocks and two old troubles Losing the DC really hurts us here. I will do this, and then I'm gonna do this. And we don't whiff, thankfully. We don't whiff. My rumor is prized to know that much. Um, I go oh, this strong. I think it's these two. I'm not gonna be using Guzma next turn, I don't think. Well, maybe I would, but too late now. We are going to uh, probably Guzma. I mean, there's no way I keep my energy, though. There's absolutely no way I get to keep my energy here. So we get two prizes, and we get to be kind of in the lead here. One Enhanced Hammer, so there's two Baby Puzzle. One Enhanced Hammer does kind of ruin our day, though. One Enhanced Hammer definitely does kind of ruin our day. Um, we're also not going to be able to activate Sledgehammer, there's the Enhanced Hammer immediately before even any trades happen. We might see an N because of that. We do see a Trubbish being played down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 item cards. But Lycanroc is not going to be useful anymore, so pretty much item cards are... Um, pretty much item cards are a done deal for us. Um, like, we shouldn't mind not playing item cards anymore at this point because we weren't able to um, use like and rock effectively with a two basic energy. Ooh, but I do top deck the Guzma. That's very nice. Um, this top deck Guzma actually allows me to... Oh, the run rate was not priced. Jeez. So what was I thinking going for that baby buzz? Oh, wow. That's a big misplay on my part. Okay, so I can't take down the Trubbish, but then Ladius could potentially KO my Buzzwell, so... Uh, that was a big mistake. And now I don't have... Hmm. Now I definitely don't have any more things. Um, okay, so what's my play here? Is it to do 180 to the Zork? No, I don't think it is. Is it to Guzma and try to stall? Did my opponent even trade Luster? Uh, used his trade. He only traded once. And he's gone through two DC so far. Mm. He's heavily committing to the Lagoon flight for whatever reason. So... I think I'm gonna pressure with this buzz, right? I think that's my best play. If he knocks out my baby puzzle, then I have Sledgehammer, which I definitely like. Which I definitely obviously like. 10 short of 1 hit KO in his arc. If I had Red Rock EX in this, but I obviously don't. I obviously do not. This game much more intense for sure. Much more intense. Um, we had a better start, but it also wasn't as strong. I went definitely had a better start. And with all the trades, you definitely expect your opponent to not wave like Kuzma's and whatnot. If he has a DC, he will definitely attach, retreat, and KO me with Gladius. Correct? Correct. Um, I'm down three Guzmas already. Jeez. I'm 
down three Guzmas. That's never good. What is my opponent's play here? Acerola would be his best play. Uh, Guzma KO Lycanroc would be his best play actually. It plays around Sledgehammer. Probably only gives me one turn of Beast String. Um, he can't lay live for the Guzma, which is good. He does have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 card hand. Taking a while to decide what to do here. There's no timer in friend battles, but oh, <laughs> okay, that happened. That actually happened. There's the trash lunch. That actually happened. Oh, please just pass though. Nah, there's no way he passes. Well, there's... Guzma is not happening this turn. Counter catcher could. Uh, double puzzle. Double puzzle for the DC. And... And what else? Probably the Guzma, I'd imagine. Right? Yeah, we're gonna lose that game because of that delinquent. Otherwise, we were in a great situation. Guzma and Floatstone. Okay. I guess the Floatstone is technically better. Um, we'll get the KO, and I will get the KO. Hopefully. Well, it all depends on what I top deck, right? I might not get a KO here. So I have to promote that because I don't know what I'm going to top deck. That's a dead card. I'm pretty sure I'm going to concede here. Yeah, the delinquent ends up uh, doing us in. That's okay. Um, I definitely misplayed big time there. I misplayed big time. Um because of, uh, I played myself into a delinquent. Um, I didn't know my opponent had delinquent, now I know. Um, however, um, yeah, um, one second guys. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, that was a doorbell, so I had to open. Um, okay, so we know this gives us information that my opponent has another basic Pokemon in his hand. Um, our hand <laughs> is, once again, very sad. Very, very sad. Um, okay, that top deck actually helps us. Right? Wait, why would you pay? Wait, what? Oh, I was going to say, <laughs> why would you bench the Lele? Yeah, seems like my opponent misclicked there. I wish there was an undo button. 
on PTCGO. Yeah, I wish there was an on two button, but unfortunately there isn't. Um, okay, so we're gonna see a Kuzma to try and stall here. Oh wow, we see the aggressive energy drive right there. So, I mean, I don't mind letting go of the Rockruff. Honestly, ideally we can save it, but an Ultra Ball for the other Rockruff. In fact, I think I'm gonna attach energy to it. Yeah, I'm gonna attach energy to it. And then I'm gonna Sycamore here. I mean, my opponent's misclick ends up help for that ends up helping him, right? He's dead drawing, but it also ends up helping him um, because he was able to Guzma protect his Pokemon. Gonna bench the Remoraid, and then we're gonna pass. Unfortunately, and it's fine, I guess. We're off to a much better start than the previous two, two games. We're gonna see a top deck Sycamore, or my opponent already had it. And I'm gonna see an Ultra Ball. This is gonna be an intense game, I can tell. This card's another Lele and a Zork, which is good. Um, my opponent already lost a Puzzle Piece, a Delinquent, and a Trash Challenge, and a Float Stone, which is good news. Yeah, and I think at this point, I can safely assume that my opponent is not actually playing... Um, is not actually playing... Um, what's the word? It's not actually playing Mew EX, which is good for us, right? Now, I do have the option to KO his Zork, with Lycanroc, uh, although it's not very certain. So I think my play is actually going to be um, to use Baby Buzzle and Diancie to pick off the Trubbish, right? I think that makes sense. And therefore we're gonna Ultra Ball these two. I think the Guzmas are gonna be very clutch. I knew Octillery was in here. Um, so I had seen it from the previous Ultra Ball. My play is definitely Kuzma, KO the Trubbish, and then if my opponent whiffs the the Enhanced Hammer, we could potentially pick up that Zork. And I'm not gonna play the Elixir yet. I'm just gonna Slash Hammer. If my opponent Kuzma KOs my Rockruff, then I'm gonna go crazy with Elixir, V String, and whatnot. Um, and with no Trubbish inside, that's always a good plan. Yeah, that's always a good plan. I guess the Lele. Oh, the Parallel is annoying though. Parallel is very annoying. Definitely that. I already discarded one puzzle. I think it's Diancy. I think my discard is gonna be the Diancy. Not ideal. Not ideal, but it is what it is. Yeah. Nicely timed parallel CD for my opponent, which forces me into an awkward discard. We're gonna see. Have we seen a trade yet? No, we haven't seen trade, so that's gonna be double puzzle, I'd imagine. Um, yeah, for Travish and the puzzle piece, that makes sense. So we're probably gonna see an N here, I'd imagine. We're gonna see a float stone on the active. And yeah, there's the N. Everyone has the N and one trade to find the Enhanced Hammer. And yeah, no Kuzma for us. We wanna find... We wanna find Lycanroc then. 
want to find Lycan Rock if my opponent whiffs the Enhanced Hammer so that we can knock out that Zork. That's the dream. There we see the Latios. My opponent might retreat into the Latios if he has a TC. He loves his Latios. Right? He loves his Latios. And it seems like that's what we're going to see. No, we just see an energy drive. Okay. We just see an energy drive. So no fear. No fear. Um, okay. So I'm going to play that. And it does hit. That's awesome. Okay. So... Uh, putting all my all, all the eggs in the lycan rock basket i do have tool trolls and two lycan rocks left there's a lycan rock that's beautiful there's a brooklet hill that's also beautiful i am going to need one head flip though i'm still gonna need one head flip here um i took brooklet we don't have anything left here um let's bring up the zorg i mean i could also pick off the trubbish but i just want to take the two prizes here and deny my opponent's draw engine as long as I can flip one hand. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully, discarding the Diancy doesn't come back to bite me. And of course it does. <sighs> I just want average luck. I don't want good luck. I want average luck. That's all I want. That's generally all I've ever wanted. Just average luck. That's enough. Average luck is more than enough. That's all I want. You flip two, you expect one and one. That's all. That's generally all you want. Generally, all I ever wanted. Just average luck. That's all. Oh, boy. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Four item cards. So, trash challenge is not a big deal yet. Right? Trash challenge is not a big deal yet. I'm actually, it seems like I'm gonna have to sledgehammer for 1 million damage on that Zork. Oh, we're gonna see Ultra Ball. There's a Lily in the discard. <laughs> Failing that clip. That could, that's potentially game costing. <laughs> yeah. That is potentially game costing. Oh well. We'll see how this develops. My board definitely looks stronger than my opponent's. Yeah. Please just pass. No DC. No Lele. No chance of delinquent affecting us. Oh, okay. Okay. So that kind of makes up a little bit. And only a little bit for the um, mishap, yeah, for the double tails, but only a little bit, guys. <laughs> okay. Three cards in hand, no Zorg. I'm feeling good about this game. I'm feeling good about this one. Yes, Latios will KO my three energy puzzle. That is completely fine. You can see a Bridget, that is completely fine. This is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna Guzma GX KO the Lele, and then nothing can take another hit. Well, Trash Challenge can take a hit for my Lycan Rock. That's the only, only thing. Yeah. And I'm not gonna play any item cards. One, two, three, four. Four item cards only. I'm not gonna play any more, any more at all. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess I'll play the Floatstone because I got too excited and I promoted the Lycan Rock. Um, yeah, so my play is 100% absolutely to do that. And then Floatstone. I don't have KO with Baby Buzz. I could have KO'd with Baby Buzz, but I think this is better. Going down to one prize is better, I think. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and touch energy here. And then I will dangerous throw. We go down to one price card. And this should be the end of it. This should be the end of this game. We have B-String. There's no way for my opponent to not activate B-String. Uh, an Enhanced Hammer is completely fine. Enhanced Hammer plus N would be the worst thing to happen. But even if that happens, my opponent doesn't have KO. So we just retreat, attack with Baby Puzzle, and that's the game. Whew. There's the Enhanced Hammer, right? There's the Enhanced Hammer. Um, I also didn't want a B-String or Elixir because maybe if my opponent ended me down to one what i needed was a single energy to go the Sladios. any energy did it for me yeah any energy did it for me so it does seem like we're gonna be able to win it does seem like we are going to be able to win here pretty sure we have this one finally after a lot, a lot. I mean, and generally we won the first game based off of my opponent's misplay. Yeah, so the draws that we got in the first few games were just not great at all. Yeah, not great at all. And my opponent taking a while to make his decision. We are just waiting for the final, final result here. We're waiting for my opponent to finish his turn and then that's gonna be it. Yeah, and then that's gonna be 100% it. Where is his Zorg? This is it. I guess it's technically not it. There is one Pokemon I can't KO. And that is Cartana, yeah. Cartana is the one Pokemon that I cannot KO this turn. Don't have Lele, I have two Guzmas left. Um, does take a prize, does put me out of, um, out of Sledgehammer. However, and I don't have a Buzzle GX left, oh jeez. Um, I mean, all I do is attack, right? All I actually do is attack. I don't play anything else. I do not play absolutely anything else. Now I don't have KO on Garb with, uh, with Lycanroc. I need this strong. So I'm saving that strong. Um, my opponent would have to promote something that can take a hit from Lycanroc. If it decides to Gale Blade here. So this delayed the game by one more turn. Right? And anything that is not Kuzma, or I mean anything that's not N, immediately gives us a game. There's Trash Challenge, only for item guards. Just double checking. You know, just double checking. We're gonna see a Sorola. That's fine. My opponent cannot attach and retreat at the same time. We're gonna see the Garb. We're going to see the trash challenge for 80 and that's going to be the game because my opponent did not play N. So unless he plays red card, we are good here. Um, it's going to be trash challenge for 100. That is completely fine by me. If I had played this and this, um, that would have been seven item cards plus a choice spent out of in KO. So holding on to the B strings, like, and it's something that I tell a lot of the people that I coach. Sometimes not playing cards is actually better than playing them. Yeah. Sometimes not playing cards is actually better than playing them. And there's a claw slash for the last KO. That was a very intense game. Very, very intense game. GG by the Lord Jim. And that's going to be it, guys. So we are still alive in the tournament. Still a long way to go. Um, 256 players so we have to make a huge run in the losers bracket but um, I know this deck can yeah so I'll see you guys at the next one bye